Take a deep breath. Okay, one more time. Can I mouth it and she can voice it? <laughs> it's weird when it's your turn. Yeah, I'm you guys do a really good job. <laughs> yeah, to go first. It's, it's going to take us two hours to get through the introduction. I know, these two are called first they, take and we're... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just try one more time and that us 15 times yeah. later. Here we go. My name is Sydney Lambert, and when I first started working for Sandy, I was her personal assistant, and now I am the general manager of Minky Couture. My name is Jenna Houston. I actually made the first blanket for Minky Couture, and now I'm the production manager. My name is Des Kino. I started out in sales, and now I'm the director of corporate sales for Minky Couture. My name is Shelly Dabb. I was the first fabric cutter for Minky Couture, and now I manage the shipping department. I think the early years were you maybe questioned how long is this going to last, but super hopeful that it would continue and we would be here, here 15 years later. In the early stages, you would sew a blanket and we would meet in a Walmart parking lot yes. or in front of a bank or something. Yes. And we sat and rolled them in the back of her mom's minivan. <laughs> I remember Sandy calling saying, hey, I need you to come pick up this blanket and take it to my friend. Here's their number. You can meet them anywhere. So I remember going to like a random gas station and yeah. and meeting this this friend who desperately wanted to buy this blanket that Sandy had just created. So we've become a lot more Yes. Proper. Yes. <laughs> and her business still needs. Yes. Yeah. A little sketchy in the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> we were just trying to find a way to get the product out there. So we started with home shows. We did trade shows. People um, would invite their neighbors, their friends. They would come and they would pick a print, a ruffle, and a back to the blanket, and they made them extremely custom to them. We got to the point where we were we were too big to take all of our product to people that we just had to have them come to us. I remember that for four years in, and we were literally getting blankets back from seamstresses, wheeling them down on the carts to the store, and people were just grabbing blankets off the carts, like customers. Like we couldn't even get them into the room to, to process them and to roll them and package them. They were gone. I think Sandy from day one, she's been great about communicating her vision. I mean, we all know that everything has to be top notch. I feel like it's been a big job over the years to have 50 seamstresses and keep up that same level of quality I remember early on when one of the seamstresses would come in almost every single day to have Jenna go over her blankets and make sure that everything was exact and perfect. And she would not stop until she knew she had it right because she knew the standard that was expected of her. Yeah, you're right. And it was pretty awesome to watch. I think that it's Sandy's drive and not ever wanting to give up and never taking no for an answer. I remember early on um, a company coming in and doing like some analysis or something and them coming back to her saying, you can't be the producer and the wholesaler and the retailer, like you can't do that. Like that's not possible. Do you guys remember that? Oh, I will never forget it. I yeah. actually went home and I'm like, I hope we have a job in the future. Just the way they, yeah, the report that came back with that. And it was a little intimidating, too, because yeah. it's all these businessmen yes. coming and telling her, I don't know if your idea is going to work. But yeah, but Sandy she wasn't going to she she give fought, up. She fought through every obstacle. She's going to prove them wrong. One of my favorite things is when Sandy comes in the morning to the office and is like, I had the greatest idea in the shower this morning. She thinks about Minky constantly. I think for me, it's really empowering working for a woman on business and working with so many incredible women. Sandy's always enabled us to be moms first and know that that's our most important role. I've never had to miss anything with my kids. I've been able to go to field trips, to help with parties, to their games, to all of those different things. Even during the hard years though, when other companies were failing, like during COVID, like we just blossomed. Although it's a luxury item, for a lot of people it's a necessity. During COVID, people were really going through some tough things and it gives comfort. It can be given in a sad time, it can be given in a happy time. What do you believe the heart of Mickey is? I kind of think that it's all the giving back 
Sandy does. I think that's a huge part of why she's been successful. Sandy always says, I want to blanket the world. I think her idea of success is how much she can give back to others. She always tells us that we're blessed for giving and sharing what we have. And the trust that Sandy puts in all of us to run these areas, these departments, she puts a lot of trust into all of us. We want to be a part of something, and Sandy made us a part of something, and we could help her make that successful.